So over the years now, you face so many legends as pitchers, other than John. <laughs> who, who are the toughest pitchers you faced? Do you think like, wow, this is the, these couple of guys are just the, the toughest guys I've ever had to face. Can you give us a couple names? Yeah, I think, um, you know, I, I tell people all the time, I think Pedro Martinez in our era was, you know, undoubtedly everybody talked about how, you know, what type of stuff he had. And there's always conversations, especially in today's game, about stuff. But um, his his baseball IQ and his, his, his memory as far as, you know, pitch situations, pitch counts, and that you may have had, you know, a year ago. He would remember those situations. So he's extremely smart, um, effectively wild, <laughs> you name it. It was just, you know, he was one of those dominant pitchers, but he's one of the best I've ever faced. Um, you know, I just always um, had a lot of uh, respect for Greg Maddox, uh, for the way that he went about it, and, you know, just surgical and just wanted you to hit the ball in, you know, one to two pitches because he knew he was going to be able to induce a ground ball and hit it right at somebody. And that that's something I really miss as far as watching somebody that was so craftsman in, his, in the way that he went about his business. Uh, didn't overpower you, but before you know it, you're in the seventh inning and, you know, and he's throwing up donuts. So um, really had a lot of respect for him. Uh, from the left side, you know, I, I really enjoyed um, competing against Randy. I've had, some, you know, some some success, but just the mere fact of seeing, you know, uh, you know, 16 guy out there on the mound coming from the left side with, you know, wicked slider, 100 mile an hour fastball. Um, you know, it was just fun to compete against it. And, uh, you know, obviously some of the things that he was able to do in his career, the way he competed, the way he went out there and, you know, would go out there and throw a shutout and then two days, a day later, come out the bullpen to help his team get into the, you know, the next rounds. And, you know, I really miss those days where, you know, those kind of guys could change the entire series or change the complex of a team. And, you know, just kudos to those guys that dominated for so long. 